Hey y'all, today we're going to enable persistent storage for Journal D. This is among some of the most straightforward exam objectives for the RHCSA, but it's still important to know how to do nonetheless. Let's get started, shall we? Alright, so here I've logged into one of my virtual machines and acquired a root shell. And if I run journal ctl dash dash no pager and grep for the string slash log journal, and I guess I'll tail this as well, um, you'll notice here that journal D is writing to the slash run directory, which does not persist across reboots. So to set this up to be persistent, it's as easy as editing slash etc systemd journald.conf. And in this file, we're just going to add a line under this journal section called storage equals persistent, just like that. Then we can just write and quit the file. And now what we'll want to do is make dir a directory called var log journal. And uh, after we restart journal D, it'll correct the permissions as needed, so we don't need to worry about that. And then we just need to restart journal D with systemctl restart systemd-journald. Just like that. And this is something new for rel 9 that we'll also need to do. We'll also need to run journal ctl dash dash flush. And now if we run our old grep command again, you'll see here that journal D has picked up our new settings and is now writing to the var log directory now. So these journal databases will now persist across reboots as well. We can also ls var log journal, and there it is. And I'll quickly reboot the node to show you that it persists as well. So we'll just wait a moment for that. And uh, now I'll just uh, run journal ctl dash b minus one to check the previous boot. And so all of that makes sense since I started this VM about an hour ago. So that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed this little video and thanks for watching.